Hello everyone and welcome back to Lucky Loaders 15. Now this is a totally different video to anything I've ever made or uploaded on my YouTube channel. This is not about the horse racing tips or about current issues or debates within horse racing. This is something I've been contemplating on doing for a little while now but I was a bit foolish uh, this week. I've only just realised that um, something called Cranes and Colitis Awareness Week has uh, just uh, waved us by and I haven't done anything to... Uh, raise the awareness of it and you're probably asking why am I doing a video about this kind of thing well that's because I have a condition called ulcerative colitis now last year was one of the worst years of my life in fact it was the worst year of my life I nearly died I was hospitalized about two two or three times last year I think it, yeah two long stays in hospital at least last year probably spent nearly about three or four weeks worth of my life in hospital uh, last year so obviously it's not a good place to be and unfortunately I had to have an operation and that operation was kind of a live or die operation and um, I had something called an uh where the whole of my uh, large bowel was uh, removed because basically if you're not aware ulcerative colitis is an inflammatory bowel condition you might have heard of Crohn's disease but um, not ulcerative colitis there are quite a few inspirational people out there that do have ulcerative colitis but not a lot of people like to talk about it i've had um the same operation or i'm halfway through the phase anyway of the same operation that darren fletcher had also as well the likes of steve redgrave the famous olympian uh five times gold medalist has ulcerative colitis he, that is treated with uh, medicine and also as well there is a gb olympic uh, swimmer um who slips my uh, name now but she's also got um ulcerative colitis and there's also quite a few famous people out there that have the same condition as well they're just a few names uh, to mention that you might have heard of but yeah in essence this is what i want to talk about really about this horrible uh, disease it's basically it inflames uh, your uh, bowel basically and um, it's an immune uh, system condition it's absolutely horrible and it's so painful and basically it's like having constant diarrhea but with ulcerative colitis you lose a lot of blood and I lost so much blood um, in my last visit in hospital which was uh, in September last year I had four blood transfusions and I had to have that operation like I said and it left me with uh, something called an ileostomy and I have something called a colostomy bag uh, which basically uh, serves as uh, yeah where the waste goes so obviously I'm bit embarrassed to talk about it but at the same time it's changed my life completely and I wouldn't be here if I hadn't had that operation and hopefully later on next year or the year after that I will have uh, reconstruction surgery so I won't have to wear this bag anymore but for a lot of people out there especially ones who have Crohn's disease they can never have the reversal operation they can never have the reconstruction and this is why um really that I think uh, a lot of people don't talk about it. I was really moved uh, today by seeing uh, DT from Arsenal Fan TV. I'm not an Arsenal fan, you can see I'm a Saint supporter, um, but I like to watch their uh, channel anyway for a bit of fun and also as well I like seeing their passionate fans and seeing what they got to say. So um, I was really inspired by DT uh, today when he came out and he said about his Crohn's disease and I just thought really that I hadn't done anything. I know last year I took a picture of my um, stoma bag and I'll show you now and that went viral on the Crohn's and Colitis uh, Facebook page. I got hundreds and hundreds of likes for that. And uh, yeah, that was uh, something that took a lot of courage to do, but at the same time, I feel good doing it because I think it's a very important to sp spread the message. So this is what I got left with. That's my uh, bag. And basically that uh, is something that isn't amazing, but to me it is. Um, like I said, it is... A tough subject to talk about but if I hadn't had that uh, operation I wouldn't be here now so that's enough of me waffling on about this awful condition but it's just something I think that needs highlighting and basically for people that have this condition or um, are gonna have this surgery later on down the line once they get their condition not all people have uh, the surgery it's only about one in five uh, people that have a condition will have to have the surgery like me um but basically a lot of people are treated with medication but the medication 
is quite horrible to take and can have some nasty side effects. So basically, this operation has really changed my life and this is why I do YouTube now, because I'm following my dream. I've always been interested in horse racing, but it wasn't until basically I was in my uh, recovery period, I love all sport, and that I decided really to take more note in horse racing and because it was every day I was just watching it following it every day got hooked and then after really getting into it really seriously every day for three months I ended up going to Ascot in the end and I had a go at some commentary and I just thought you know what this is it I want to do this and for the rest of my life I want to work within horse racing I want to be a horse racing journalist I didn't have a clue what to do I didn't have any prior camera experience, any media work, and I just thought, you know what, create a YouTube channel, uh, write to some people and see how we go, and that's how I did. Um, I had some unbelievable experiences in nine months. Um, I created my YouTube channel, I got on a university course, I study a master's degree now in sports broadcast journalism and that has enabled me to get a lot of these good experiences that I've had. I've uh, uh, had experiences with Richard Hoyles, the ITV horse racing commentator. I shadowed him at Newton Abbott for a day. I've worked with William Peterson of uh, William Hill Racing Radio. That was a good afternoon at Salisbury. I've uh, worked for BBC Local Radio, Surrey and Sussex, as their horse racing pundit. And because of that as well, I now do the social media for the Jockey Club at Wincanton Racecourse on uh, race days. And I have some great fun. I work with some great people there, have a bit of a laugh and things like that. And the access I get is a pleasurable chance. It, I just absolutely love uh, doing what I do at Wincanton. And without this operation, I could have never done any of those things. Um, and it's incredible now. I'm, I've just uh, been given confirmation that I can do my university work placement as well without the races. And to say that I could have done that within nine months from starting from scratch and starting a YouTube channel. And I know I don't have the greatest following yet and hopefully I will get there one day. But by just keep plugging away, you know, I, it's given me the confidence because I know life's too short and I just want to follow my dream. And basically without that operation, I wouldn't be here doing this. So yes, yeah, so um, that's all I've got to say really. Um, if you want to ask any more questions, just uh, let me know. But I just thought I'd give you a little bit more of an update on about myself really, because I know I've been doing this now for a while. And yeah, if you want to criticise me, go ahead with my tips. I know they're not always the best, but at the end of the day, it's just a bit of fun. And yeah, that's all I've got to say really. And if you ever know someone with Crohn's disease or uh, ulcerative colitis, just support them, you know, because you know that there is a life that can be lived with the condition. So I'm just a bit of living proof of that. There's loads of other people with lots of other different wonderful stories that have managed to uh, keep up the challenges of the condition and things like that. But like I said, I'm kind of, I'm not cured because I do get the side effects still, but I, my life's a lot better for it and I can actually live a normal life and uh, I can live my dream. So uh, thanks for all your amazing support so far. I know this might sound a bit like a, trying to do a publicity stunt, but no it's, it's, no, it's not. It's trying to tell people about this condition and trying to weigh, raise awareness of it because uh, it's kind of not talked about a lot in society and it's something that should be talked about. So that's all I've got to say really. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you want to follow my journey of becoming a horse racing journalist. You can also check me out on Twitter at LuckyLoaders15, same name. So yeah, that's all I've got to say really and hopefully uh, we can have a great year next year.